don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help you. Yeah. Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome to Outlast Whistleblower. There's the email we are currently sending to Miles Upshur to get him to come and investigate the asylum. Yeah, make sure no one's watching. Oh, he's anxious. Send email. Nothing. We're all good. Hello. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent in the engine. Cool. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software guy. Oh, nothing. Nothing for you to be suspicious about at all. Alright, I'm coming. Yep. Why weren't you answering the page? I was busy. I'll tell them you ain't coming. Thank you. God, look at that jawline. Jealous. See, they're prepared. They've got their masks on. Christ, Waylon, hurry up. They're waiting on you. Alright, I'm here. Alright, I'm on it. I've got Gluskin out of the cell. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. I'm here. Got 15 seconds to keep his job. Park. Finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging in face isn't talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. Call into the chamber. Ask them to delay. No. I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Right, right, I'm on it. Uh, just give me a second. Are we happy, Mr. Park? Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Hi, Billy. Oh, we're nearly there. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Quickly, Mr. Park. Ed will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. In five seconds. Four. Three. There we go. Spin labeling is back online. Good. Positioning imaging plane. Oh, God, Billy. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. Leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. Sure. Right, are there any files or anything around here I can pick up? Well, what's the time code? You're done here, Mr. Park. Alright. Thank you and goodbye. Alright, I'm going. I'm you going. Exit the room, sir. Yeah. Oh right! Jesus! 
What are you looking at? Don't you eyeball me. Alright. So I can return to my little cubby hole where nothing bad will happen. Oops. Ow! Consulting contract 82 Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop onion router and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Parker. More than stupid. In fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Parker, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? No, 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 no. Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Bastard! Oh, and, uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine program? No. That's what I heard, Mr. Blair. I don't like you. Brave indeed, Wayland. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light and study. That's fine. I can do it myself. Ow. Okay, that was unnecessary. Whistleblower. Now we get to see what actually happened, what caused the, the lunatics to run the asylum. Oh. Being quiet. Oh, hi, Billy. Lovely. I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have pass passed or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the, the engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what it couldn't... It I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't, exposes the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Oh, God. The nightmare begins again. I no, no, how about no? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Battery. Billy. 
no. All right, we clear. I think so. Oh God, this went off so damn quickly. No, you're not going to let me in. Well, even the security guards are going nuts. Good, thank you. Please. I'll leave you to your uh, whatever your therapy session. I see you. You just. Ow! No. Fuck. Oh, he gave it quickly. Ha! Bad idea. We get out of here through reception and then work tactical clean it up. If they get here in time, we need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here with it. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the lights are on. Look, officer, the control. What a lovely man. There's a radio in the prison, shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk, make it work. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was the subtlety. Like you always said, I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous, I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die, not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. Amen to that. This is a long air duct. Ah, here we go. The exit. Ow. Hi. Oh, God. You stay in there, you creepy fuck. Nothing around here. No. No, Billy, no. Locked. 
You have anything on you? No. Oh, that's where the security guard was. Okay, I see where we are now. Locked. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's right. Clothes from a dead body, I found. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. All right, then. Stop! 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 Stop
Do it. Okay then. No, I'm not gonna go through there yet. Oh, goody. A limb casserole. Oh, no, there's a head in there, too. Lovely. Batteries. Whoa, okay. Hello. Don't look at us. I love you. I'm sure you do. In the cannibal's kitchen. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen. Don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember the, me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger, a little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. Oh, I can handle slashers, zombies. One thing that always freaks me out, cannibals. I don't know what it is, but cannibals really... Ugh, no. Okay, where are we? Any files or batteries around here? I don't know what that was. I don't particularly like it. I've got light here. Not the handcuffs to open the door. Cool. And with that in mind, I think I'm going to end this first episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Outlast Whistleblower. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.